is Dr. Joe Brents with the Next Gen Institute of Physical Therapy. Today we're discussing neurodynamic assessment and intervention. We're going to look at the median nerve, and there's two potential ways to assess the median nerve. With the patient laying supine, I'm going to step in with my lead leg, and I'm calling my lead leg the leg that is closest to her. I'm going to stabilize her scapula. I'm going to bring her shoulder up into 90 degrees of abduction. At this point, I'm going to stabilize her wrist and fingers and bring them into extension with wrist extension and forearm supination. Holding that position, I'm going to gently bring her into elbow extension. She may feel a little bit of tension with this test, but that doesn't indicate a positive test. A positive test is going to be a reproduction of her chief complaint. That reproduction is going to increase with contralateral cervical side bending. So can you side bend away? Excellent. And it's going to be different side to side. Typically, I would assess her unaffected side first, followed by her affected side. If she told me, yes, that affected side, that, that feels different, that reproduces my chief complaint, and that really increases when I bring my neck to the opposite side, that constitutes a true positive neurological test. An alternative way of assessing the median nerve is to come behind the patient. You're going to stabilize, can you slide out just a little bit, stabilize her scapula with your lead leg. Again, that's going to be your leg that's closest to her. Her arm's going to be dropped down to her side. Again, you want to extend the wrist, the fingers and the thumb while maintaining forearm supination and you'll gently bring the shoulder into abduction. Again, the patient may feel some tension. At that point, you're going to have them side bend away, look for increased symptoms with that side bending, does it reproduce their chief complaint, and is it different side to side. The reason why you would do that second neurodynamic assessment of the median nerve was in case you were suspecting shoulder pathology. So when the patient's up in this position, they may be a little bit apprehensive. Keeping the patient down here would allow us to truly differentiate a median nerve from potential shoulder pathology.